to predictability. The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. This whole world confusing me. these guys go talk to Mr. Olson and get on the talent performers for the talent show next week. <laughs> it's on October 18 during lunches. If you want to see a grand performance performed by your own peers, the fall play will be next Friday afternoon, October 27th. You can purchase tickets next week. This week is really busy for college visits. The colleges that will be here, UMD, Hamlin, the National Guard, St. Scholastica, Bemidji State, St. Cloud State, and Vermilion College. October is Bullying Awareness Month, and so as a school, we are um, next Wednesday, October 25th, students and staff can wear orange to show unified support for the end of bullying. Thanks, Sadie. Reminder about the Kindness Challenge. Checklists are due October 24th. You can win gift cards to Culver's or Dairy Queen. Team, we've been picking up trash today around the grounds and on the bleachers. Remember, there's um, garbage cans out here, so you should like throw your trash in garbage cans, not just on the floor. And if you have recyclable items such as programs or bottles, you can put them in the newly placed recycling bins that will be out for football games. Don't forget that ASVAB has been rescheduled for November 1st. Seniors, pictures and senior quotes are due November 3rd. Email pictures to Van Drin or bring copies to his room. 3155. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Van Drunen here with a community health care announcement. Uh, Grand Itasca is opening up a teen clinic. It's going to be at the Y on the first Tuesday of every month uh, from 5 to 8. Um, this is just a chance for teenagers uh, to be able to get to see a doctor from Grand Itasca uh, for all sorts of uh, different things that might be of concern to young people. So just want to make you aware of this option in your uh, health care portfolio. Thank you very much. Remember the secret pool you heard about on the fifth floor? If you want to be a lifeguard for it, there's a lifeguard certification class and it's a week-long course at the YMCA. During evenings and on Saturday next week, you must be 15 or older to sign up and you have to sign up by this Friday. Next week is College Knowledge Week. Representatives from colleges, tech schools, and other post-secondary options will be at GRHS. Many colleges waive the application fees this week. Seniors will be taking time in English classes to fill out an application. Staff will be sharing their educational stories. Hey Ike, what was your favorite college memory? Uh, one of my favorite memories, I, I went to UMD in Duluth, probably was um, getting an all expense paid trip to Moscow and Leningrad, uh, KVGR news station. The owner uh, treated our whole hockey team to a trip to uh, Russia for 10 days and uh, we played two uh, hockey games against the uh, Russian Red Army team. So that's one of them that stands out. How many Wind goals Army. did you score? Yeah. How many goals did Well, let's say this. We lost to the Red Army team 7-0 to zero, and then we beat the Junior Red Army team 7-2 to two, and uh, if I remember right, I scored all seven goals. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what'd you do to your finger? What I do to my finger? You didn't know? No. No, come on. It's it's World Polio Day next week, next Tuesday, October 24th, and all over the world people are getting this new style statement, and you too can get this if you come to school prepared next Tuesday, because World Polio Day is happening all over the world, which is why it's called World Polio Day, wow. and it's dedicated toward eradicating polio which is one of the oldest diseases in the world today. Do you know anyone with polio? No, I don't think so. Neither do I. You know what? We can thank science for that one. 
because polio is entirely preventable. People don't have to get polio anymore. All they need to do is take two drops and they're immunized for life, which I trust you and almost everybody you know is, so they won't get this terrible disease. In fact, polio is eradicated from every one but two or three countries in the world. And we are literally this close to getting rid of polio everywhere, so people won't need to ever suffer from this debilitating disease. People who have polio often can't walk, they can't breathe. It's a debilitating, terrible disease that people have lived with. Millions of people have had it worldwide. And today, hardly anybody ever gets it because we have worked to eradicate polio by immunizing people everywhere. So people don't need to worry about the scourge of polio in their lives today. So next Tuesday, here at Grand Rapids High School, Interact is going to be taking an active role on World Polio Day. We're going to be coloring your pinkies purple. If you bring a dollar or more, as a donation on your way in. You can get your pinky stamp purple and you can wear your hat all day. Remember, next Tuesday, World Polio Day, we're gonna celebrate it with Purple Pinky Tuesday. And I hope everyone, everyone in the Rapids community will join in this because it is an amazing effort. We are dedicated to going in the last couple countries in the world, which are actually Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Nigeria, I believe, are the only countries that have polio left in them at, at all in the world. And we want to get rid of it there, so when polio's got, gone there, it's gone everywhere. And we won't have to worry about it anymore. So join us next Tuesday, celebrating Purple Pinky Day, uh, bringing in a donation for the World Polio Fund. So we can join together with Interact and Rotary International to help make this disease history. And we all know how much you all love history. Bring Thanks. your dollar, guys. To predictability, the milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. This old world.